if you've crashed your drone and ended up with it completely submerged and had an absolute meltdown like I just did, well, I'm gonna show you in this video how I saved and rescued the drone, how I brought it back to life, how my first attempts failed and further actions I took. And at the end of the video, we'll look at the test flights that resulted. Let's dive in and take a look. I've got the drone stuck in this willow tree over this little pond so let's see if we can get it out i've got a really long pole with a net on it so i'm really hoping i can reach this drone and get her down and save her let's give it a go i've rescued the drone out of the water it's soaking wet i'm going to now try and dry it out and see if we can fly this. First thing I did as soon as I got the drone out of the water is to take that battery out immediately so there was no short circuiting going on. Now it did go into a pond and not into seawater. If I'd gone into seawater I'd be really worried because of corrosion from all the salt and if you do that you'd be best off rinsing it all out with some fresh water first and then go through the drying process. Now, as you can see, I've got a blow dryer and I've gone into all the nooks and crannies and into where all the motors are to really flush out any moisture to warm it up so it evaporates away. The good thing about the Mini 3 Pro is that all the electrics are quite exposed. The motors are all exposed without any brushes on them. And so they're quite easy to dry out once I'd thoroughly dried it out, I was perhaps a little bit impatient and I did a test flight. It took off, it was fine, no problem. And I thought I've saved it. So I moved it away from any people and I tried some forwards and backwards motions, no problem. So I started to try some right to left. And as I was going off to the right, it started to become quite erratic and then it took off at speed, flipped over went down on the ground and was thrashing around till I raced over and turned it off. I went into the second course of action, which was again to take the battery out and then I put it in an airing cupboard throughout the night. It was nice and warm in there. And then I got it back out the next day uh, to do the test flight. After we fetched this out of the water, I've blow dried it. I've put it in an airing cupboard overnight and now we're going to launch it and see if it still works. So please work. So let's see how that goes. Okay, we're airborne and I'm just going to do some movements side to side. Well, so far, side to side, that's working fine. Backwards and forwards. It seems to be working well. I don't know if this is jittery from the wind. I'm guessing it is. It's very blustery. Up, down. Yeah, obstacle avoidance is working. It doesn't want to get any closer to the camera. It's not happy about that at all. Okay, let's go reverse. Okay, at these sort of speeds, this is working really nicely. Up there is the offending tree, and this is the pond that we sunk the drone into. You can see we've just done the test flight, and it looks like it's working superbly. It's a bit windy today, so I'm just going to do some low level flying, uh, see how the controls are. Yes, I've got to risk it over the lake, but let's just uh, play with some of that footage. Well, that's flying superbly. Got nice, smooth, cinematic mo movements. I think we've saved the day with the drone. I think a couple of key things that really saved the day was one of them was to have the propeller guards on. And I'm not sure why I put them on because I normally only put them on when I fly indoors. But I think when it hit the tree that these kind of protected the propellers. And I think the propellers in that willow would have really wound up into the tree and it would have been really hard to get it out. And I never could have climbed the branches or get a ladder to it because it was over the lake. So I think that was quite fortunate. So I'm really pleased I put these propeller guards on. Secondly, I think getting that battery out as fast as possible, I think is really super important. And then lastly, I'd have to say, 
these are really well made. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that the punishment that it's gone through, that there's not a mark on it, there's no negative effect that I found. I recovered all the footage off the memory card. You would never know that it'd been through the punishment that I just put it through. So I'm really impressed with the build quality of these DJI Mini 3 Pros. So good job DJI. So I hope you found that really useful. If you've had the same happen to you, I hope you managed to save it as I did. And please show me the love, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video here.